Mom is always busy talking on the phone, but all Molly wants is for her to read her a bedtime story. Mom is ignoring her. It's like Molly doesn't even exist. Reality can be so sad. She wishes she lived in a fairy tale. Welcome to your fairy tale breakfast. <laughs> Princess Mom doesn't cook. Molly will have to look for her own meal. Mm -hmm. Cooking isn't very royal. She can meet her dad now, too. Mm -hmm. Cold-hearted dad loves icy food. And Molly. Mm -hmm. Here's some dessert. Mm -hmm. oh, it's ice. Oh, thank you. Frozen water is very good for you. Have as much as you want. The what? food matches the fairy tale. <laughs> Molly is getting ready for a magical walk. Mom wants her to wear a scarf, but Molly says no. Hmm. Big mistake. We live by fairy tale rules here. Snow in June? Yep, did you forget we live in Alaska? There's always a lot of homework in fairy tale school. Uh -huh. Molly barely has time to go on adventures. So she's going to drop out mm. and seek her fortune. But her mm -hmm. fortune is doing homework. Her mom froze the doors, and Molly's dreams are frozen, <laughs> along with the doors. <laughs> Who does homework in a fairy tale? Well, maybe if she finishes it, the doors will open. It's not working. A baseball bat will do the trick. Hey, Molly, be careful. Mom's head isn't a ball. Hi, nice to see you. The doors open the what? other way. No magic at all. Wash your hands very carefully. If you turn the tap just a little too far, the water is lava. Mom's icy breathing saved Molly's hands. Now she can't feel her fingers. Thanks, Mom. Even princesses need to clean the house. Careful with that lamp! Too late. She woke up the genie that's been trapped in this lamp for centuries. Molly wasn't expecting any visitors. She's scared. But her mom taught her some martial arts techniques. The genie's never been greeted like this before. There's a first time for everything. If only Molly studied math as hard as she studies self-defense. This is awkward. Now the genie won't come out of the lamp again. Molly, pay attention. Aw, she spilled all over the magic carpet. Ew. What's she gonna do? Oh no, not this. That's a weird solution. Hitting the dirt out of the rug? Mom has to fly to work. The magic carpet isn't starting. Hmm? What's wrong with it? Maybe it's out of fuel? Hmm? Molly is taking her mom to get her a skateboard. That's too dangerous. Mom has a better idea. Molly's classmate is laughing at her carpet. A skateboard is cool, but a flying carpet is better. Try doing this on your skateboard. You're so fly. This must be a fairy tale gift. What's inside? Roller skates. Only one. Where's the second one? This fairy tale is weird about shoes. Thanks a lot, Cinderella. Mom is cooking dinner. Molly wants to help her out. Your meal is served. Mmm, cream of pumpkin soup. This tastes magical. Mom likes it. Molly's proud of herself. Wait a sec. What kind of soup is it? That's a carriage, not a pumpkin. What are we supposed to ride around in now? We haven't even paid it off all the way. The prince is checking all the ladies in the kingdom to find his soulmate. Molly has a chance. The shoe fit. He found his princess. Now mom has competition. Dance till you drop. But you have to be home at midnight or mom will punish you. Gotta go fast. Oof, barely made it. But mom is still mad that her daughter went to the ball and she didn't. And she danced so hard she lost a shoe. Molly is hungry. Dinner's almost ready. 
Her mom is very busy, but Molly will help out. The salad is done. Mom, look! Oh, fairy tale princesses are never happy. She'll have to put everything back to how it was. These vegetables are for making a love potion. Fairy tales have video games, too. And chores. Her mom is acting more like an evil stepmother. But Molly does have to clean up. She wanted to be the princess, but now she's more like the servant. Fairy tales are exhausting. Okay, check that off the list. Just 213 more things. You thought this was a fairy tale? You ain't seen nothing yet. Let's see what else mom came up with. Finally, a fairy tale where Molly eats her fill. After such a yummy dinner, she may as well wash the dishes. But there are so many. Like there was a whole banquet. Where did these seven plates come from? Oh, I see. The seven dwarves. No junk food in fairy tales. There's lots of unhealthy stuff here. And plenty of dangers. <gasps> Better a burger than a poisoned apple. You should have started with that. This is crazy. Molly loves playing games on her iPad. It's so much fun. Unfortunately, in this story, all apples are dangerous. Mom is freaking out. Aw, bummer. She'll have to hide the logo with a little sun. Mom sings to the birds every morning. They love it, she thinks. But they keep falling out of the trees instead of telling her what they really think. At least the other princesses can be honest. Molly plays along so she doesn't hurt her mom's feelings. Beauty is everything. And Molly's beauty is even more than that. Mom's mirror is pretty special. <laughs> It can sense the beauty of a person looking into it. Mom's new haircut doesn't really suit her. Molly can have apples now. <laughs> Fairy tales are so interesting. But now Molly's sleepy. She has to wake up early tomorrow. But she'll dream about new adventures until then. Her real mom is better than a fictional one. She's not trying to poison Molly after all. Let's see what fairy tale Molly is dreaming about. Nobody ever takes you seriously. And Molly's sisters make fun of her all the time. But she has something they don't. She's younger, but she's smarter. And she doesn't have time to deal with her big sister's problems. <laughs> While Molly is busy studying, Caroline is only studying her makeup. What? She knows all the hottest brands. She's the trendiest sister. Katie always copies Caroline, and Molly has to settle for whatever her sisters leave behind. Most of the time, there's nothing left at all. She has to protect whatever she can get, because she barely has anything at all. That'll ruin her mood and her plans for the day, too. Ever since their parents left for vacation, Molly has become her older sister's servant. She has to do everything they want. No matter how hard she tries, something keeps going wrong. She'll just have to hope for a miracle, which do happen sometimes. Even though Molly's not really in a great situation. Molly has fun, too. She's always wanted to be a racer. She can see herself zooming around a racetrack and winning trophies left and right. But her sisters don't support her dreams. They say racing is dangerous. So every time she tries it at home, she gets fined by mean traffic officer Caroline. 
Molly's sisters never do anything around the house. Not even when she needs help. They won't lift a finger. She can only rely on herself. Good thing she's inventive. But her plans don't always work. She won't give up though. No matter how her sisters treat her, she just gets stronger and smarter. But she miscalculated, and gravity got her in the end. Her sisters were so scared that they Yay! tried to help her, but Molly doesn't need help. Katie decided to help her baby sis get what she wants. Molly is hard at work, because unlike her sisters, she doesn't want to upset her parents. And sometimes, while she's cleaning, she makes her sisters mad. One day, she was dusting, and the book messed with Katie's scale. She was in for a big surprise. That's not the right number at all! Molly doesn't just love racing, she also enjoys making bee jewelry. That's a nice break from chores. But as soon as she takes a break, her sisters remind her about what she has to do. <sighs> it's hard to stay positive when the whole world is against you. But every cloud has a silver lining. The vacuum cleaner can help Molly. It sucks up dirt and can make jewelry. <laughs> Molly wants to grow up already, but she shouldn't rush. This is for oh. grown-ups. No! But no. that won't stop no. her from preparing. No. And part of her preparation no. is her toys. While Molly is busy cleaning, her sisters are busy party planning. The whole point of the party is seducing Nick. He's a hot, shy boy from their school. And Caroline and Katie are obsessed with him. They fight over him a lot. And even have a bet to see who will get his attention first. But Nick's a tricky guy, and this won't be easy for them. Caroline and Katie are doing anything they can to get Nick's attention. When he finds a lost headphone, the sisters decide to do something sneaky to spend some time with them. But the glass slipper, or rather, the headphone, doesn't fit either sister. <laughs> Nick gets suspicious and leaves, and he accidentally runs into the real Cinderella from the world of wireless headphones. It's Molly! Everything is coming up, Molly! She even got to dance with the prince. But once it strikes midnight, all the good stuff comes to an end. But now, Molly has a dream. Nick shows her. And even though she's just a cleaner, she has to clean up after the party. But things won't be unfair for long. Luckily for her, she gets a visit from not her fairy godmother, but magical creatures with the power to change her life. Mom and Dad came back from vacation early. And they figure out what's going on. Now the older sisters have to clean, and Molly is the princess. While her sisters are hard at work, she gets to rest and relax. And there are some mermaids that are nowhere near as lucky, like Molly. But we're here to learn about all three of them. Because it just so happens that it's their fault that the Merman King's dish was ruined with a golf ball. 
they could have gotten away with it, but he lost a whole tooth! This is bad. He yelled so loud, they heard him in the Mariana Trench! The first one in the line of fire is the owner, Joey. But he blamed the manager, Mia. And she blamed the waiter, Molly. That's where this story begins. But before we get into it, be sure to like and subscribe and click that bell. Luckily for our mermaids, Neptune didn't shut down their restaurant. He gave them time to fix it. The next time he comes, it better be perfect. No golf allowed. This is work, you know. And we need a new burger recipe. We have to actually impress Neptune. But where will we get the new recipe? Mia thinks maybe Molly can help. To be honest, she doesn't really want to work. Passing work on to someone else is something Joey and Mia do a lot. They're booked and busy. Joey is busy relaxing. And the manager is busy making coffee. But she doesn't want to do that either. Why bother when the fishermen always have a thermos full of coffee? All Mia has to do is pretend she made it herself and listen to Joey complain that it's cold. She's gotten used to it in her time working for Joey. He's never happy. Nothing is ever good enough for him. Did you like our new video? Then be sure to like and subscribe and comment your favorite part down below!